Just finished with the domino for the alignment, just so it's easier to glue up. Um, it means that it keeps the boards aligned so that I won't have a lot of sanding or planing to do once it's glued up. So I'm going to have to do that on the floor <laughs> because I don't have a big bench. So I'll just set it up. I've got my dominoes ready. I'm going to do a dry fit, but on the one side, which is the nearest to me, I've done the mortise on the tighter setting. So I'm not going to put the domino in on the dry fit on those particular ones because they're very hard to get out once they've been put in. So I'm going to fit all the loose ones just so I can see how it clamps up. And then once I'm happy with that and I feel like I can clamp these in one, one go, I will obviously go straight into the glue up and then add the tight dominoes because I don't want to put them in and then struggle to get them out. So that's what we're going to go with. Super happy with that. I've just finished the dry fit. It was worth doing the hand planing just to fine tune it because I've only used two clamps and it's pulled in really neat. I'll show you how it's laid out and how it all comes together nicely with no gaps. Always take your time with the hand planing. Don't miss that step because it just makes the glue up so much easier. The boards are super snug. That's the seam line there. And that's the seam line there. There. And there. next step is to do the vertical pieces so they're about um, one point I think it's like 1.4 meters so we'll cut those out of the off cuts that I was talking about which are these which are the ones that have the cracks in so even though I mentioned that you should always over calculate these pieces won't get thrown out, these will be used, so that means no waste.
I've got the two side panels cut to dimension and the um, side vertical pieces. So I've just marked up the dominoes because I'm going to use these for alignment to connect those pieces on to the side panel. So this is just a scrap piece just to make sure that it fits um, with the hangover that I want, which is about 15 mil. And then on the other side, that leaves 18 mil. So it's 15 mil here and then 18 mil there, which means I can pack that then for the drawers with the strips of ply that I've already cut. So I'm going to do that separately. The dominoes are just there for alignment and maybe a little bit of strength when I do the final glue up. Um, but I will be using one or two pocket holes just to hold everything together until it's all painted and um, finished. So got a lot more dominoes to put in now. I hope that made sense. Um, I, I don't really know how else I can explain it, but I'm just using the dominoes to align the vertical legs, if you will, um, onto the panels to make the complete um, sides for the unit. Um, I am tempted not to use any pocket holes. What I was going to do was use the dominoes for alignment and then use the pocket holes just to pull it together and then I wouldn't need to clamp it. Um, to speed the process up I could just put some glue in there once it's ready and just screw it together and then the glue will dry up. Um, just don't know. Anyway, we'll come to that when I get to it, but I'm definitely going to be using the domino anyway, so we'll get going on that. And then if we need to add a pocket hole on the inside, we can do that afterwards.